boys and girls. Hello, Hunchos. Oh, so happy. Tell me, I'm looking for the naughty Judy Frog. Have you seen him anywhere? He's behind you, Punchdown. Be careful, Punchdown. He's behind you. Huh? There, take that. Looking a lot less clever now, are we? Oh, help me, kids. Bad Judy Frog, thump Punchdown. No. Bad Judy Frog, <laughs> mustn't thump face Punchdown. Otherwise, Miguel thump you. <laughs> Uh, listen, Miguel, it's hard enough babysitting my nieces and nephews. You can't be destroying our show like that. But Bad Judy Frog thumped nice punch too. <sighs> Actually, it was just Bob that you thumped. Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, be good, my little toadies, until we get back. Duty calls the Jungle Bunch. <laughs> to the rescue! Kiddos, do it like I taught you. Permission. <laughs> Open. So, my friends, tell me what brings you here. Great Tiger Warrior, our village needs your help. We are very hungry because we give all our food as offerings to the Choo Choo. Choo Choo! Gazoon tight. What exactly is this Choo Choo? Choo Choo! The chosen one of our great prophecy. My, this could be quite a problem. Let me tell you all about our legends, dear friends. I shall tell you about the prophecy of the ancient times. Moons and moons ago, when the stars were still young, Pedibus, the god of the gunk between the toes, created the world. His wife, Mucosa, the goddess of runny noses, gave birth to the seas and the oceans. His brother, Odoron, the god of bad breath, brought forth the wind, and the young god of the spraying spit, Sputumius, made the life-creating rainfall. Thus, the world was born. But one day, the terrible Chupicotep, the guardian of the heavenly boogies, decided to destroy our world. Fortunately, the Choo Choo, the Chosen One, saved us. He calmed down Chupicotep with offerings, and then the Choo Choo woke up Stablina, the goddess of the hairy legs, the only one who could get rid of Chupicotep. Ah! Such is the prophecy of the ancient times, but at the last full moon, Chupicotep came back to our village. Yeah. You mean you have a god staying with you? Yes, and he's huge and scary. The Choo Choo arrived the day after just to protect us, but he asked for too many offerings. We don't have any food left. Mr. Maurice, can Miguel thump the booger's god? No, Miguel. We don't thump other people's gods. It's rude. Come on, my friends. We're going to see where all your food is going. Move it! Choo Choo! I am the Choo Choo. I am the one and only one able to calm down the anger of the Chupicote. If not, the Chupicote will crush all of us. The Chupicote will eat all of us. The Chupicote will tickle us everywhere. <gasps> uh, that big wood thing there is a god? It looks more like a statue. It is much more than a statue. It can wake up any time and crush us all. All the offerings must end up in its stomach. Pfft, nonsense. Those villagers are being duped. Let's speak to the villagers instead of the choo-choo. We'll make them understand that it's merely a hoax. Chupicotep will walk into your house and not wipe his feet. Chupicotep will sneeze and not cover his mouth. Huh? Hang on. What did he say? Contagious diseases? Hmm? Bring your offerings of the day. Some nuts, ripe kiwi fruit, a pretty seashell, two ripe watermelons, a beetroot, jam jar, a blueberry, coconut milk, peanut butter. Miguel can thump mean statues that eat all the food, Mr. Maurice. <laughs> I believe the Choo Choo has found a very easy way to get some free food. Hey there, my good man. We'd like to see some evidence that you are indeed the Choo Choo. Choo Choo! Hey, intruders! They are going to wake Chupicotep's anger! All right, you guys. Time to impress those stupid ones. Yes, right, boss. Move it! Ah! Oh, he's feeling! 
furious! Huh? It gets complicated. The Choo Choo was right, the prophecy is happening, the great Chupi Kotep is waking up! Uh, Gilbert, now would be a good time to offer a reasonable explanation. Mercy, mercy, great Chupi Kotep! No contagious diseases! Imprison the non believers! Chupi Kotep orders it! The Jungle Bunch doesn't give up so easily. Miguel, Junior, prepare to defend our. It's not fair. There's a lot more of you than there are of us. Come on, guys. I will come back and save you, my friends! Oh, dear, 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 dear. I'm afraid all is lost. It's impossible. A statue just doesn't move by itself. It must be a trick. Bad God of those boogers. Almost as bad as bad Judy Frog. This Chupi Kotep is different from Al and Bob's puppets, Miguel. Hmm. Wait, that's it. I think I know how this statue moves. Hey! Hmm? <gasps> Maurice? It's almost nighttime and they're all gone. I'm gonna get you out of there. Haha! <laughs> Good thinking, Patricia. Now listen up. Here's my plan for trapping the Choo Choo. Chupicotet down, but until Stablina comes to save us, we will have to continue to give him offerings. Now let's see. Some cheese, blueberries, some pumpkin juice, still more beetroot jam. Can't have enough beetroot jam. And don't ah. believe him! Listen here! I am the real Choo Choo! I called Stabilina, the goddess of the hairy legs, to save you! Stabilina? It's up to us, Miguel. We're saved. It's a real choo choo. Choo choo! That one lied. An imposter. Don't listen, I tell you. Be afraid. Be very afraid of Chupi Kotep's anger. <clears throat> All right, guys, give him everything you got. Okay, boss. Amigos, let's go. Okay, Miguel, if you still want to thump a god, it's now or never. Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy. Again, or you'll have to deal with the jungle bunch. Well done, great tiger warrior. You have rid my village of those imposters. At last, we'll be able to eat. Well, our mission is done, my friends. Choo -choo! Huh? What's wrong with them now? Choo -choo! Here is Choo Choo. Choo -choo! Long live Choo Choo. Choo -choo! She can save us from contagious diseases! Oh, Gilbert, I'm going to blush if you keep carrying on this way. You know perfectly well I'm not the real Choo Choo. Choo Choo! 
Help me, boys and girls. I'm being chased by that naughty Judy Frog. You've got to help me. We've got to call Bonanello so he comes and saves me. Bonanello! 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 Nice punch to not be afraid. <laughs> Bonanello thumped that <laughs> Judy Frog. Oh! Oh! Bananello thump nice punch toad. Bad Bananello. <laughs> Ouch! Bad! <laughs> Bad! <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Come on, Gilbert, your turn. All right, all right, all right. This game requires self-control, concentration, and a basic knowledge of physics. <laughs> he won't do it. He's shaking. And he chose the trickiest one. Gilbert! Guess who? Patricia! Oh, sorry, Gilbert. Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy! Miguel! Oops, sorry, Gilbert. Just like my tummy after I ate chili. No need to panic, guys. That was an earthquake. But it's over now. An earthquake? I was scared, were you? Miguel like earthquake. Shakey, shakey, shake. We're done with pickup sticks for today. Let's go and check if our lair is all right. But it was my turn. That's just not fair. And you can let uh... go of me now, Patricia. Earthquake's over. <laughs> oh, good. We were lucky. I hope there won't be too much damage in the jungle. Well, it's about time to find out. The Jungle Bunch? <laughs> to the rescue! Good mission! friend. Tell me what brings you here. Hello, I'm Professor Ernest. The earth tremor which occurred this morning has opened up a large crack right in the middle of our village. It must be closed, otherwise our houses will be swallowed up. I even tried to sew it up, but it didn't work. Sorry, say that again? You said you tried to... Sew it back up, but it didn't work. Our village is sinking. Sew so it? You tried to sew your village? <laughs> I know what you're saying. It took some thinking, and indeed it did. But you see, I am an inventor. As I always say, we Kiwis may not have arms, but we do have ideas. Mm -hmm. Let me show you a few of my recent inventions. This is a ladder for people who are afraid of heights. <laughs> this compass points you in the direction you're heading. I'm heading this way. Now I'm heading this way. Dr. Chicken, very smart. Dr. Chicken, great genius. I see some are science connoisseurs. And finally, my pride and joy, the honker horn. No, it warns of obstacles up ahead. Isn't the warning a little bit late? It stops you from crashing a second time. Okay, let's go to your village. Yes, of course. It's this way. Or this way. Oh. Yeah, let's go sew the village back up. Nonsense. Sun, the depths of the Earth. Impressive, huh? The earthquake caused a large landslide. We have to find a way to stabilize the tectonic plate the village stands on. If only my seam had held. How will we do it, Gilbert? I have no idea. We need to know exactly what happened underground when the earthquake occurred. So in this case, guys, we have no choice. We're gonna have to go down into that chasm and have a look for ourselves. Now, this should hold you just fine, Miguel. Nothing to worry about, son. Repelling is child's play. In any case, we're all attached to one another, so you can't fall. 
We are not going down there like this. We are not even sure if a rope is long enough. We need to know exactly how deep it is before venturing down there. No problem. I'll measure the depth with my scientific method. We'll lower a rope attached to a rock into the chasm. Once it touches the bottom, we'll pull up the rope and measure the length of rope used. Miguel like Dr. Chicken. Miguel wants to help Dr. Chicken. Uh, the rope that you use. Don't tell me it is. No, Gilbert, do something. I can't hold on to it very long. Mr. Maurice, Miguel and Dr. Chicken done bad. Huh? Where'd they all go? Well then, is everyone all right? Third invention may actually have a use after all. This darkness makes me so nervous. I'm afraid in the dark. My ladder isn't going to work as well now, I'm afraid. I think we can still use it. You think so? It's broken. I'll also need a few of your feathers, if you don't mind. My feathers? Well... Here we are, my friends. Throw a little light on the subject. You may let go of me now, Patricia. Got white. Ah. Oh, ho, ho. <gasps> when Miguel Thump see the mushrooms light up, Thumpy Thumpy Thumpy. This is saltpeter, the stone salt, a powder with exceptional chemical properties. This place is truly fascinating. Be careful, Maurice. Saltpeter is very flammable. And I found some rocks that smell like rotten eggs. It must be sulfur, Ernest. It is often found in volcanic areas. Those phosphorescent mushrooms are magnificent. I'll pick them to give us more light. I wasn't scared. <laughs> Excuse me, I can't help it. I love practical jokes. My name's Patrick, but all my friends call me Pat, but since I have no friends, call me whatever. Hello, Pat. Uh, whatever. I'm Maurice, and this is the jungle by- Psych! <laughs> I gotcha! <laughs> I should have seen your face. So, what brings you down here, may I ask? Ernest's village is just above us. Since the earthquake, the village has been slowly sliding into the chasm. The earthquake's done a lot of damage down here, too. A huge pile of rubble almost fell onto me. And since then, the ceiling hasn't stopped falling. I'll show you. After you, Maurice. <laughs> Is this another of your jokes, Pat? Okay, I confess. I put some slippery seaweed on the ground. <laughs> Here we are. This is where it collapsed. You'll get a better view with more light on. Allow me. There's our problem. That block got dislodged during the earthquake, and it now puts pressure on the central pillar of the cave. If that pillar breaks, the ceiling will fall right on our heads. How are we supposed to move it? Since we can't move it, we'll destroy it. Listen up. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Looks like things are gonna get hot in here. I think I'll take cover if you guys don't mind. Thanks for your help. I hope I see you guys again. I had a lot of fun. Psych. Huh? <laughs> I got you back. <laughs> <laughs> take care, Pat. Bye, Jungle Bunch. Good luck. Patricia, fire. Quick, we've got to get out. 
out of here. The crack is almost closed. No time to climb out. Ernest, give me your feathers. Again, but I hardly have any left. No time to argue, Professor. Miguel, his feathers, quick. Sorry, Dr. Chicken. No. Patricia, we're here. Well, my friends, what an adventure. Good thing we had my inventions, huh? I don't know how to thank you for saving my village. Just doing our job, Ernest. Yeah, and we're gonna call you when we need something sewn. <laughs> for the Jungle Bunch. Hip, hip, hooray! You've lost, Bob. It's Miguel's turn now. Son, Junior. Any of you seen Junior? Did you look in the bamboo? <laughs> Very funny. Mm. Honestly, Miguel, this can't go on. Look at this. It's mm. only gross. Blech. Our pond is not a garbage can. Mm. Ah, disgusting! It's full of germs. Get that thing out of here! <laughs> Actually, it might be quite useful. Hey, Patricia! What an unexpected... It's not only gross, but dangerous. You need to find another place to dispose of your banana peels, or someone's gonna get hurt. We will deal with this mess later. Duty calls. The Jungle Bunch... To the rescue! Good mission! Hello. You're the Juggle Bunch, right? Yes, my friend, and I think I know what brings you here. Don't worry. We're going to fix this in a second. Miguel? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not coming for that. Well, yes, but I'm not allowed to undie this knot. I was punished by my family. Punished? But for what? Because I dared to fight the ghost of the Boulder of Doom! Huh? What? The boast of the Boulder of Doom! The what? The ghost of the Boulder of Doom! Ah, the ghost of the Boulder of Doom! <laughs> <laughs> a ghost! Ha! Ridiculous! Tough guys like you scared a ghost! <laughs> Absurd! He exists! He's terrorized our herd for months now! He bakes us leave a portion of our fruits for the Boulder of Doom as an offering! But all that lovely fruit just goes bad! It's such a waste! So I refused, and he became angry, and my herd decided to punish me with this bark of disgrace. Please, help me get this ghost out of our territory. Help me get my hobber back. Huh? Your hobber back? No, my hobber back. His honor back. Ah, okay. No problem. We'll take care of this ghost of yours, right, guys? Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy. Well, for once, I'll gladly come along. <laughs> A ghost? What nonsense. Oh, Gilbert, oh. you aren't afraid of anything. Such courage, we feel safe. <laughs> I'm really starting to like bananas. Off we go, my friends! <laughs> well, that was quite a hike. Ronald, come on. We told you not to get them. It will only cause trouble. But we've been living in fear for far too long. We must break free. Hey, don't worry. We are the Jungle Bunch. We can handle this ghost of yours with no Ooh, problem. Miguel never thumped ghosts before. Miguel happy. Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy. Shh. If he hears you, he'll be angry. Not as angry as the great tiger warrior. Grr. Come on, let's go. 
Okay, this conversation never happened. Act natural. Okay, guys, I'll wait right here. Junior, we found something worse than Miguel's banana peels. <sighs> These flying insects can't be very hygienic. I'm bound to catch something. <laughs> That's strange. Where'd they go? Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Patricia, go keep a lookout in that tree up there while we take a look around. Patricia, that's ridiculous. You're imagining things. <laughs> <laughs> Tremble, strangers. Fear the wrath of the ghost of the Boulder of Doom. Well, time to show him who's boss. Miguel. <laughs> Play with Miguel? Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy. Tremble! Feel my wrath! <laughs> me ghost on big rock thump, Miguel. No itty bitty ghost can frighten me, the great tiger warrior. Grr! <laughs> Wicked ghost! You should know that a tiger warrior does not need his eyes to see his prey! <laughs> Banza! <laughs> oh. I forgot all about that doomed boulder of doom. Come out, Mr. Ghost! Okay, I warned you! Yeah. While he's distracted, I say we attack! Miguel, Junior! Oh, no, no. Small Tiger Warrior doesn't need Miguel. Small Tiger Warrior can do it himself. Off me! They seem to leave me alone! Ha, ah, so that's our ghost. <laughs> Show him, Junior. No one can provoke a tiger and get away with it. <laughs> Almost had him, son. Well done. Uh, Maurice. Personally, I wonder if we should think about heading home now. It will be dark soon and soon. On the contrary, we aren't going anywhere. We have a score to settle with the so-called ghost. So tough now, are we? <laughs> Let 
let me introduce your ghost. I order you to let me go. Predipodium Tenebruncum Predatorium, the royal chameleon. Basically a copycat without the cat part. A sly little devil, that one. By scaring you into leaving rotten fruit around the boulder, he was always sure to have flies around for dinner. <laughs> Miguel never thump invisible lizard before. Miguel happy. <laughs> You brute! Nobody can stop a ghost! I'm a shadow, a nightmare, and soon I'll disappear again! I'll have my revenge! <laughs> oh. That's if you can disappear. Oh. Hmm. Well, Patricia, is he ready? Yes, that's it. I'm finished. Here it is. And it's water resistant. This will be his new disguise until he sheds uh, again. You pay for this, but I will have my revenge on you. I'll be back! <laughs> Ronald, I'd like to apologize for the entire herd for doubting you. We should have brought in the Jungle Punch a long time ago. Let's hear it for Ronald. Hip, hip. Hooray! Let's hear it for the Jungle Punch. Hip, hip. Hooray! Finally, the water is crystal clear. Very good, Miguel. Yes, and we aren't going to miss your disgusting banana peels. <laughs> On second thought. Miguel, where are they? <laughs> you never guess where Miguel throw all the banana peels. Mr. Maurice! <gasps> Mr. Maurice! Oh, Grumpy Mouse kissing Fine Mouse! Oh, how romantic, Gilbert. I've always wanted to be woken up by a Prince Charming. No, 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 no. What are you talking about? This is not what you were thinking. I was just whistling. She was snoring like a warthog, and I was trying to... to... Yes, yes, totally. I was snoring, sure. Sorry, Gilbert. Of course you were whistling. Mm. It'll be our little secret. <laughs> Let's change the subject, shall we? Miguel wanted to tell Marie something, didn't uh, he? Oh, yes. Look. This is present to Miguel from Toad Friends. It is Bongo. <laughs> wow, Miguel. You've got rhythm. Oh, great. Huh? I already couldn't sleep on Patricia snoring. <laughs> Music and kisses will just have to wait. Justice is calling. The Jungle Bunch. To the rescue. <laughs> Good mission. <laughs> Gilbert. <laughs> yes. Hello, Melina. Hmm. Uh, so, Melina, is it? What brings you here today? I forgive your ignorance, Tiger Warrior, but be aware you are addressing the almighty Empress of the Jungle. Melina, the Empress of the Jungle? Uh, sorry, never heard of you. You do not know me, not yet. But you should know that in a few hours, my power shall reign, and in this jungle, everyone will submit to me, or they'll be annihilated by my weapon of destruction. <laughs> all right, I've had enough of all the tap dancing. What does this have to do with all of us? It will be good to know. Uh -huh. After all, we don't have all day. If she's got some problem with us, she should get straight to it, instead of annoying us with her Empress of the Jungle and her weapon of destruction. <laughs> no? She does have a point. Why are you here? Don't count on us to help carry out your evil plan. No, I have no need of you for that. I have just come here to commandeer your lair. 
<laughs> Understand that I presently live in the Daisy's Prairie, and my new status requires headquarters in keeping with my position. That volcano up there, that cave behind you, they'll be far more suitable for my status as a tyrant. Has the Otter completely lost her mind? Who do you think you are with your wooden chair and your fake jewelry? This is our home. Go on, get out! Here, Jungle Punch home. And here, leader Mr. Maurice. Here, law of jungle. Not law of mean otter. <laughs> Not that at all, Miguel. But surely that was some kind of joke, wasn't it, Melina? Enough. It's too bad for you if this lair cannot be mine, that it shall belong to no one. I will destroy this place with my supreme weapon. <laughs> Farewell, Gilby. Gilby? <laughs> so, we're waiting. Who is that, Melina? Gilby, 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 Gilby,
Machine to fly. <laughs> Good job. Nothing like a nice bath to calm down an empress. Could someone please scratch my back if you don't mind? We're telling you, this pond's insects are the victims of some kind of spontaneous combustion. Bob seen it too. Yes, they were here and then gone. Incomprehensible. Okay, we'll take care of your problem later, guys. Someone's got to tell Miguel to let these crabs go. Uh, yes, please, so I can finally take a peaceful nap. And if huh? I snore again, don't hesitate to come and whistle, okay? <laughs> Wake me up if the signal blows. <laughs> <laughs> 